In part one of this video, I provided some background information on the Gecko model. In this video, I'll discuss best practices for tuning the Gecko model free parameters. For the majority of cases, you only need to tune CSEP and CMIX for the following. First, optimize CSEP for the separation characteristics of wall boundary layers, which in most applications has the strongest impact on performance. Then adjust C-mix to affect the mixing behavior of the free mixing layer. It should be emphasized that the model has strong defaults, so you should make sure that any tuning is supported by high-quality experimental data. For example, looking at the effect of varying CSEP on the velocity profile of a diffuser, CSEP equal to 1.75, the default shown here in green, fits experimental data very well while reasonably predicting the separation of the flow. There are situations where CSEP may need to be increased such as simulating high lift airfoils or even the SSD model underestimates the separation strength. In the following test of an NACA4412 airfoil at higher angles of attack shown on the left, a CSEP value of 2 to 2.5 more accurately predicts the lift coefficient. At a 12 degree angle of attack shown on the right, the velocity profiles in the area of separation near the trailing edge of the airfoil show that CSEP equals to 2 in red more closely matches the experimental data. Now we can hold CSEP and the other parameters constant to see how the value of CMIX affects velocity and turbulent kinetic energy profiles. CMIX equal to 0.35, again, the default shown here in black, agrees with the experimental data very well. Increasing C-mix leads to an increased spreading rate shown on the left and higher turbulence levels shown on the right. Increasing the mixing levels of the Gecko model might be of interest in regions of violent mixing, as observed in flows past bluff bodies, which are not well covered by conventional settings. For example, in the case of flow around a cone, which there's a large circulation zone behind the object, looking at the centerline velocity of the flow, increasing C-mix beyond the default up to 3 with the default blending function shown on the left, and even up to 5 with the UDF defined blending function shown on the right yields strong correlation with experimental data. Although less relevant in most cases compared to CSEP and CMIX, C and W can be tuned to modify the model characteristics in near wall regions under non equilibrium conditions. In the following example of a backward facing step with heat transfer measurements represented by the Stanton number taken downstream of the step, C and W is varied with the other parameters held constant. C and W equal to 0.5, the default, closely matches the experimental data and wider validation has shown that C and W equal to 0.5 is appropriate for most applications. Lastly, C-Jet does not need to be tuned in most cases unless you are concerned about the spreading rate of jet flows. Further details can be found in the technical report, Best Practice Guidelines for Generalized K-Omega 2 Equation Turbulence Model, in ANSYS CFD, which a link to can be found below in the description box. And that concludes this introduction to the Gecko Turbulence Model in ANSYS Fluent. Thanks for watching.